Maybe this is a big talker with your friends or you're seeing social media posts right now on those popular parenting pages for your town. Renewed questions about kids, the COVID vaccine and the booster shot. There's some confusion because there's a lot going on right now. There's a pretty new variant out there, the XBB.1.5, the updated vaccine, the bivalent. And then just last month, the CDC giving the stamp of approval for kids as young as six months old to get that booster shot. It's a lot for parents to sort through and make the best decisions to keep our kids safe and healthy. So I went straight to the experts for some clarity. Parents, I know you feel this mom of three. Well, the thing is that if one gets sick, they all get sick. That includes COVID for Erica Camargo's family. Mom and dad came down with mild cases. The older two kids, eight and six, not vaccinated for the virus, right behind them. The middle child, she's like, I can't, I don't smell nothing. So that's how I knew. Why did you decide not to get your kids vaccinated against COVID? Um, the main reason is because um, they didn't get sick, sick, really sick. So I was like, they don't really need it. And that's one big reason doctors tell us uptake for the COVID vaccine for kids has been low all along because most kids like Erica's don't get severely sick. As it stands now, the CDC reports only about 3% of U.S. children have completed their primary series. That number goes up for older age groups, but only to about 30% for 5 to 11 year olds. And parents are not really running out to get the vaccines anymore. Longtime pediatrician in the West Palm Beach area, Dr. Linda Badeau points out the updated booster shot parents have to consider. Called the bivalent, supposed to protect against original COVID strains plus Omicron variants. Are kids getting boosted? Not at the moment. Very few are getting boosted. Infectious disease expert Dr. Larry Bush talks about why. Especially since if you ask me, will this prevent my child from getting COVID? No, I can't say that. It's important to point out the CDC and the American Academy of Pediatrics recommend kids six months and up get the primary series for the COVID vaccine plus the authorized bivalent booster shot. Also important, talk to your doctor. How much do you lean on your pediatrician to help make these decisions? Um, well, yeah, if they tell me that they needed it, maybe, yeah. Dr. Badeau pushes the primary series, but not the booster for any hesitant parents. Right now, I'm saying you can wait because the numbers are not high. I tell my parents, let's watch the numbers. And when we start seeing COVID going back up, and it's prevalent in the community and we're starting to see a lot of hospitalizations or deaths, then I definitely say you need to get the booster. So here's something else to think about right now. Kids six month, months and older, they're only authorized for one booster shot. So if they get boosted now while COVID numbers are low, you know, if numbers spike, we hope they don't. But if those COVID cases spike again, you know, kids won't be able to get boosted again. You know, they've already had their one authorized booster. It's kind of like um, a timing thing then. Yeah, you have to be strategic uh, or really just consider all these things again when you're oh, making yeah. these decisions. Hey, finally turning the corner too, because it seems like the CDC says for the first time since September, so a couple of months now, we're trending downward in the number of respiratory viruses. Yeah, that's COVID cases are down, RSV is down, um, flu cases are down too, Jennifer. We we need to hear this with yes. all these young kids About in the mix time. here, you know, yes. keep the numbers low. You know, those germs in school, they spread like wildfire. <laughs> every time. Yes, every time. I but always say my kid is a walking Petri dish, you know. Oh, yes. You say it in a nice them. way. Most <laughs> affectionate. My kids are too. It is what it is.